<laughs> Hello and welcome to Cheap Thrills, a series where we play cheap and free, just inexpensive horror games in honor of the Halloween season and possibly even beyond. Today we're playing Finger Bones, which is a game from David Szymanski. It is a psychological horror game where we're going to be exploring this creepy, crawly, really bizarre looking world with a lot of spider webs. So here we go. Nice light going on. Already the music is pretty creepy. Kind of like the texture. Oh, here we go. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. Couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Well, we got some nice knives over here, too. That's pretty cool. And, uh, looks like that chair didn't do so hot. It's a little, a little dusty in here. You need to do some cleaning, bro. Oh, cool. Flashlight time. Another note. It appears to be a page from the manuscript. Okay. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, not reliant enough on rational thoughts. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Huh. Alright. Well, we've got a philosopher here. Philosopher with a chunky keyboard. We got more. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door. A door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Well, her name is Katie, so I guess we have a clue. Can we do a thing? What was that? Okay, maybe we have power now? We can open the door? Alright, so we got the generator on. That's good. And that turned on this keyboard, which is really good. And uh, earlier we found out, yeah, in the note, it used his daughter's name. It's Katie! Okay, so that, that did something, I'm assuming. Let's see if that actually unlocked this little door over here. That would be cool if it did. That would make me pretty happy. Oh shit, it worked! Oh, now we're getting creepy. Sorry, I'm not harming now. Walking into spider webs. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. Oof. It finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. This guy totally would be. Anyway. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care, but Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because I re-ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay, I don't think I like where this is going. Weird thing. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Oh, fantastic. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. All right, I think we know what we need to do now. So Katie is the daughter's name, but Lynn is the wife. So let's try Lynn on this here. Oh, shit! I think it worked. Okay. I really dig sort of the way uh, the pixel... It's like 3D art, PS1 era, but also sort of pixel art. It kind of looks a little bit like Eldritch, if anybody played that game. That was a cool game. Uh, from, I think, last year or two years ago. All right, here we go. Made some progress. Oh, God. Somebody's in here and oh that's blood oh, oh shit it's 
So I think bad things. I think bad things happened. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're ba barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. It helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. I think some really not okay things happened in those first weeks. I think uh, nothing okay is happening here. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back room of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Oh, good God. Uh, I think I know what is happening here. Although the blood is uh, extra, extra, extra happening. Oh shit, okay. That's also locked. Oh man, that was really fucked up. All right, some more clues. Change the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY, the rest of the word is missing. N and Y. All right, let's let's try N and Y with also like the initials of the ladies. N and Y K. All right, let's try it with Lynn. N and Y L. Okay, that worked. Well, Birdie gave me a little hint there. Just a little Birdie. So uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going through the depths of this uh, psychotic, incestuous guy. Cool. All right. This should be open now. Oh my god. It's so creepy. I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demanded reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking of silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, fleeting er electrical signals that fire across our synapses, for a pointless moment in time. They serve to create a purpose, or they used to serve a purpose. Now they are needless confusion. Here I am, the last man on earth, for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Wow, this man, uh, he's really good at rationalization. Okay, he gets an A plus in uh, rationalizing some shit. That must have done something right there. So basically, what I'm getting here is that this guy is Craster from Game of Thrones. And this right here is Craster's Keep. All right, creepy Craster. Let's go back upstairs. There's gotta be something up there that opened up. Oh God. Are there ghosts in here too? Possibly. Got some ghosts as well, maybe. All right, my first thought is maybe it opened up something in over here. This, this creepy thing. Yeah, it did opened up another creepy thing. Oh my god, there's blood and I don't even know what. Fingers? Oh god, those are the finger bones. Oh Jesus, okay. The cellar is freedom. Is it? Is it really? Those are finger bones, aren't they? Okay. The cellar is freedom. Hmm. Maybe. Let's try Cellar and freedom. Oh my god, that did something. I can't even believe it. Okay, cool. Uh, well, we can go to the cellar now and see even more evidence of Craster's nasty uh, proclivities. I'm assuming. Well, here, down the hatch. Oh my god, this is getting worse. Oh! Christ. There's only enough food for one, so she's gonna die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom. 
took the end of humanity for me to find freedom. Holy shit! I kind of hope that, uh, that she kills this guy in her desperation and, uh, this is horrifying. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Since you've been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom, are locked in the safe upstairs. I'm content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. Oh my god. Okay. Father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. Just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Okay, so, well, that was Finger Bones. Uh, it's a free game, David Szymanski. Incredibly disturbing. Clearly this is going after some subject matter that is really, really heavy and hard, and it's doing a lot of things by implying, rather than sort of spelling out uh, what happens here. Uh, very clever design, certainly. It's sort of... I think it's it's trying to do some interesting things with, you know, adding puzzles and logic and, and that sort of thing. A little bit more game elements to the usual walking around, reading notes and that sort of stuff. So I really appreciate that. Appreciate the atmosphere and how creepy it was. It definitely thoroughly creeped me out to the point where I feel like maybe I need to go take a shower or ten. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, really, really interesting experience. Definitely worth playing you know, given a, a strong content warning, but definitely, definitely worth your time. Awesome, so thank you for joining me. I've been Danielle, and this has been Cheap Thrills.